this is so ironic to me that uh, my work is so dark and mysterious. Like, this is from somebody sent me this from Craigslist. It's like there's a section of like, you know, I missed connections or something where people saw each other and then they're like, oh, I saw you on the bus and I love you, you know. But this person <laughs> says, you were in a blue dress looking at some, some of the photos in a road divided series with a friend around 2.30 p.m. I was doing the same in a black jacket and backpack with the camera here. I was the younger guy uh, in the gallery with brown hair. You were very pretty. You looked like a cool, nice person, and you were looking at my favorite artist, so I regretted not starting up a conversation. I figured it might be worth one last uh, try, one last shot to say hi, send an email to you. You've got a great taste in photography. <laughs> but it's just like, I mean, it's so funny that like, they connected over this. You know? <laughs> uh, or he was trying to connect over this, but it's just ironic, you know, that like that, you know, but my pictures are about that. That's what my pictures are about that. Um, they're about this kind of like, you know, this sense of loss and longing, and, you know, there's something about these landscapes that they're not they're not pictures of these places. Like they're they're much more than that. I love this one with the car coming down the lake. It's a really it's one of my favorite pictures. And so this is sort of, um, you know, kind of gets lighter. I think this is one of the last pictures in the book. Um, but, so that's that work. And then the other thing that's interesting is like, you know, there's always this question, people always want to know, what are you going to do next? What are you going to do next? And it's like, I don't know. I really don't know what I'm going to do next. But I'm always working on something. I've always got things cooking. And just here's a couple of things that I, have done recently that I've been working on these pictures with, um, ironically, that camera that my mom had given me when I was like a kid. I brought, you know, I found one of those at a thrift store, and it's a 126 camera. And I've been shooting a lot of pictures with it, um, and I really love it. I love the quality that it, that it gets. And I've been kind of seeking this sort of like strangely retro vibe that comes out of the pictures. Like, you've got a flash on it, and there are pictures that feel like you know, they're from some other like time, almost from the 70s. Um, and they're amazing for portraits because it just blows everything out. And it's just kind of, uh, you know, a really arresting kind of image. So I've been working with that, and I've been loving that. It's been really good. And kind of, you know, whenever I go <coughs> shoot, I use that camera also, in addition to using the camera that I use, my, my Pentax 6x7. Um, this one, I just took this picture. I just like that. It's like this. And then there's this dark house in the background. It's, it's interesting. I don't know all about this one yet, but I really, it's something about it I like. Um, and this one is really like, you know, this like, think of William Nicholson's tricycle. <laughs> <laughs> and then this, these are pictures with my other camera um, that are, you know, I've been pushing this, like, like that <coughs> painterly thing but also then applying it to houses. And so I've made a few photographs that I really like of these places. Um, and then this is like, you know, down the street from my parents' house, um, literally like about three or four, you know, uh, like, uh, like about two minutes from their house. Um, and uh, I've, made, I've tortured my children by making them sit in the car while I shot pictures. And even my cousins, you know, or my nephews, they were like, come on, man. Uh, like, no, just one more thing, okay? Uh, I've made them sit in that driveway many times. Um, this is Route 303, and, and ironically, it's in Streetsboro, and uh, I'm staying over at the Bidwells on 303 in Peninsula. Um, but uh, it's a view, I love this picture. And then this, this figure on the landscape, uh, the, putting this figure into the landscape is something that I've been exploring, you know, trying to make these pictures of. Um, you know, just what happens when you put somebody outside. I really like this one too. So these are all just little directions. I just took this picture, like, remember when mom, I rented the car and I went to go shoot? This is what I did that day. Um, and I just took this at Christmas. Um, and uh, this is Lake Erie. I love this picture. I like when I look at it, I'm like, oh my God, I love it. Um, but uh, it's very exciting to me to have something new. And then this one is also, uh, taken just this winter, um, which I really like. Again, it's interesting to put the house in the back into the picture um, with this other method of taking pictures. So um, those are
was I think? I think that might be. Oh, this is one more, um, which I really like. It's weird. It's, it's funny to put these together because I'm like, oh wow, my work is kind of changing a little bit. You know, it's interesting. It's like, but it's also the key, the key thing I think is like it's like it's all baby steps. You know, as an artist, as you just make little tiny movements. Um, you know, like variation is change, um, and so that's what I'll leave you with. So. I'll be happy to answer any questions if you have any questions. Yeah. You showed a lot of still photographers and writers, but all of your work to me looks very filmic or cinematic. Do you have any directors that really influence you? You know, that's actually that's a great question. Um, not necessarily, no. Um, it's funny, I have like Netflix like, things, I've had a Netflix thing sitting on my table for like six months and I haven't even cracked it yet. Um, I, I'm not, it's mostly because I don't have the time. I, I recently been, my, one of my assistants was like, you have to watch Twin Peaks, you know. Um, <laughs> and she's like, you have to, and she got it for me and she brought it and I've watched most of it. I love it, it's great. But, um, uh, it's not, there's nothing I can put my finger on and say, like, directors. <coughs> um, luckily, directors like my pictures, which has been really nice. I, I, I've been, a lot of people in Hollywood have been buying my pictures, like directors and things like that, people that I really respect. Um, so that's been really nice, actually. But, um, but there's nothing that I, like, I'm not, like, I can't trace it back to some Hitchcock movie that I saw, you know, um, although I do like his work. I, if there was anybody, it's kind of, there's a mood. You know, I think of like, there's actually a lot of my pictures I've been tilting the camera a little bit, and I definitely think about Hitchcock every time I turn the camera, like just askew a little bit, because it, yeah, as you know, it, like it just, you know, when you start tilt the camera, things are all off and wrong. So that's actually a good thing. So, other questions? Uh -huh. When you're taking a picture of the random houses at night, did you have anybody like call the cops on you for being a stalker or something? <laughs> Yes, definitely. <laughs> um, you know, usually what happens, there's kind of three things that happen when I when that, when that goes through, is that but usually when I take pictures, I don't nobody notices me. Um, and and then because I also I make myself super obvious and very like out there. Sometimes it's interesting if you just pretend like you're supposed to be doing what you're doing and you're not like suspicious, then every then people just buy it, you know. Um, and they don't say anything. Like, I'm not like hiding between parked cars, you know, like <laughs> while I'm shooting. Um, I just sort of just I just do it, and I do it with authority. Um, and uh, and then uh, and, but then people do. They still they will come out and they'll wonder what I'm doing. They'll talk to me and they'll ask me. Um, and I have like a little book of um, pictures that I keep with me. That uh, um, now actually I use my phone because I have my pictures on my phone, and I can show them what I'm doing. But I don't show them like. I'll show them a picture of like down the sidewalk, you know, not like of the house, of the window. Um, and then, and then, but the police have come several times, and uh, and they just kind of check your driver's license and run you through the system, and they realize that you're not a criminal, and and then they just leave basically. So those are the kind. Of, that's usually how that happens. But one time there was um, one guy came outside because he thought I was his girlfriend's ex-husband. <laughs> 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 scary for one minute and then you realize that it wasn't that, that guy, so uh, it was okay. <laughs> uh, you had a question there. Yeah. Um, I'm interested what influenced you to sort of take this pictorialist um, sort of approach to your photos with the out of focus? Because uh -huh. um, to me when I see them, it becomes, since you're so detached from the details, it becomes more about the mood of the photo. And I'm wondering if that's what you're going for. You haven't seen that style in a really long time. Yeah, I, actually, it is the mood that I'm kind of going for. I mean, it's sort of like it's that feeling of you know when I look at pictures or when I look at things or when I look at my pictures and I get a feeling from it. That's how I know it's working, you know. And if I'm not getting that, if it's just intellectual to me, that 